back in the 2000s, T-Pain was one of the hottest artists in the world. He was working with everyone and had over 50 tracks on the charts, including the certified diamond hit, Low with Flo Rida. But the good times didn't last. Payne ended up blowing $40 million and went so broke that he had to borrow money to get Burger King. Here's what happened. T-Pain got into music at an early age. When he was 10, he turned his bedroom into a studio with just a keyboard, a beat machine, and a four-track tape recorder. He linked up with a rap crew called Nappy Heads in 1999, and they dropped a cover of Akon's track, Locked Up. Akon heard the track and wanted to sign Payne off the jump. He already had labels interested in him, and there was a deal on the table for $900,000. Akon was only offering a 20k deal, but Payne signed with him anyway because he wanted Akon to show him how to move in the industry. Back in the day, T-Pain was just a straight up rapper, but after signing with Akon, he switched it up and started singing instead. His first album, Rapper Turned Singer, dropped in 2005 and hit number 33 on the Billboard 200. He had two singles at the top 10 on the Hot 100, and Payne basically became a superstar overnight. His second album did even crazier numbers. He had number one on the Hot 100 with the track Buy You A Drink and number five with Bartender. But it wasn't just his tracks that were popping off. To promote the album, Payne started hopping on everyone else's tracks too. He worked with T.I., DJ Khaled, Chris Brown, Kanye, and way more. He was going so crazy that in just two weeks, he was featured on four top 10 singles on the Hot 100 chart. At this point, T-Pain was a legit star. He thought the only way it could go was up, but then it all came crashing down. He told Steve-O last year, everybody before me that I had to look up to always said that once you start rapping, it's just good money all the time. Nothing bad's ever gonna happen to you. It's just girls and swimming pools all the time. Nobody ever sat me down and explained that all this good stuff can go away. All these singers, musicians, athletes just kept saying that once the money started rolling in, it's gonna stay that way forever. In 2019, Payne went on The Breakfast Club to air out what happened. According to him, he didn't even want to look at his accounts and know how much money he had coming in and going out. He just kept buying houses, cars, and drip and thought the cash would never run out. He said, that's what my accountant was like, dude, you just bought a Bugatti, you're out of money. And I was like, no I'm not, I got this house I want to get. I got this other house for my assistants, for my runners and producers. So we bought a house after that and we started going crazy with money and I wasn't paying attention to it. I thought if I didn't have access to my own accounts, then I wouldn't have to look at it. T-Pain told The Breakfast Club that at one point, he had $40 million in his bank account, but he blew it all and ended up completely broke. He tried getting into the real estate game with his manager, but Payne didn't know what was going on. His manager was buying complete dumps and trying to flip them by just throwing on a fresh coat of paint and calling it a day. None of the investments worked out. Payne was also balling out on whips, and at one point, he had around 36 cars in his garage. He stunned on everyone when he picked up a Bugatti for $2.1 million, but it turned out to be a bad move. T-Pain said he was just stomping on the gas everywhere he went and ended up putting a hole in one of the radiators. When he took it back to the dealership, they told him it was going to cost $90,000 to fix, so he decided to just sell the whip back to him. Payne showed out over $2 mil when he got the whip new, but the dealership only paid him $800k when he sold it back. And when he went on Steve-O's podcast last year, Steve-O clowned him for paying $1.3 million to basically rent a Bugatti. After he went broke, Payne said he started actually paying attention to his money. He told The Breakfast Club, once you give a shit about the money you're making, then you feel much better about your accomplishments. You feel much better about what you're doing. You start paying attention to your work that makes you money. He also talked about how making $40 million kept him away from his family. He said, I'm not chasing the 40. The money I'm making now, I'm just making it. I'm not trying to make it. That $40 million, I was hustling. I needed to be on everybody's record, and every record gotta go, number one. I gotta do this work. And at that time, I didn't know my family at all. It seemed like Payne had learned his lesson and was watching his racks. But then in November 2021, he posted a video on IG of his Rolls Royce ghost getting repoed. According to the caption, somebody was messing with his money. T Payne wrote, If you have somebody watching your money, make sure you have somebody watching them too. The good news is, I've been here before and I know how to bounce back, so f it. Y'all be careful out here, man, and watch your business like you watch your business. Shad Moss, aka Bow Wow, hopped in the comments and said it was Cap. He wrote, Nah, this gotta be fake. That's the kind of truck they use to transport vehicles. This ain't no tow truck. Stop playing with Teddy Payne. Fans thought T Payne had really fumbled the bag again, but a few days later, he posted a video on IG flexing a brand new Rolls Royce Cullinan and Lambo. It turns out that Bow Wow was right and Payne was just trolling his fans. A Cullinan runs around 330k base, and you're not copping a new Lambo for less than 250k, so his account definitely isn't light. The troll actually got some people pressed online though, and Payne hopped on Twitter to tell everyone to stop looking at his pockets. So let me get this straight, if I have money, 
I need to give it away to people that don't have money. But if I don't have money, I should have done a better job at keeping my money. He followed it up with, it ain't enough characters, but it's like, T-Pain's car gets repo. You broke again? Why don't you just save your money and stop buying shit you don't need? Then, T-Pain buys an RR. You could have built a school with that or gave it to me for a car I want. Like, bro. Even though he's not making hits like back in the 2000s, Payne obviously knows how to get his money up. He told Steve-O that he's bringing all kinds of cash from streaming games. He said, I'm making more money off of video games than I've made in the last four years. Payne's not even that good, but he says, I think that's what makes it better. I mean, there are definitely good players out there that make a ton of money, but I think the entertainment that comes from somebody like me being trash at it, I think that's just more valuable and more entertaining. Back when he was popping off in the industry, nobody would have guessed T-Pain would become a video game streamer, but obviously, it's working out for him. From the outside, making it in the industry looks like a dream, but a lot of artists end up going broke just from trying to keep up with everyone else. Payne said, after I went through that whole episode, I found out if I would have known that other artists have gone through this, people I look up to, if they would have just said, look, it's not all great, it's not going to be fine this whole time. If I would have known that, I would have been mentally prepared first of all, I would have prepared myself financially. Now T-Pain's trying to kick some free games to young artists coming into the industry. He knows from experience how fast you can lose it all if you're not careful. And he's letting everyone know that eventually the money runs out. A lot of artists try to keep it a secret that they went broke, but Payne just wants to help other people avoid his mistakes. Back in the day, he let other people run his accounts without even looking at them, and his team ended up taking advantage of him. He told Steve-O, they all knew that if I ever found out I was broke, the party was over for everybody. So they were all like, don't let him know that he doesn't have any money, because if he finds out, we're all gone. He's not even focused on music right now, but every track he drops is still racking up millions of plays. If he went hard in the industry again like back in the day, Payne would probably be hitting the charts easy. But for now, it looks like he just wants to spend time with his family and stream video games.